Hello everyone, welcome to my new channel called Video Analytics 101. I'm happy you're here. In this channel, in the coming weeks, we'll cover all things video analytics, ranging from technology to research, as well as what are the companies doing out there. I'm happy you're here. We will start things off today with the basics. What is video analytics really? Because the answer is not as easy as you might think. All right, so let's kick things off. What is video analytics really? If you have been around in this industry for 15 years or 20 years or even just a few years, the answer might be very obvious, right? Uh, video analytics is analyzing uh, video data, video surveillance data, extracting some kind of information and usually triggering some kind of event. So um, you might uh, detect somebody intruding somewhere, climbing over a wall, you might detect the left object, you might do people counting. So this is what we understand of video analytics when we uh, talk about it in general. But this view is changing. So this is what we meant with video analytics in recent years, but in the future, it will be about structuring video data. What do I mean by that? Um, in any system where you have data, you have structured and you have unstructured data. In general, it's uh, suspected in general organizations that around 80% of data in the systems is unstructured. And that means that it doesn't really follow a strict data model where um, you have certain information with this data that allows you to search through the data, to correlate this data with other data, essentially to, to really use this data. This is not present in unstructured data. And from all data around your organization, about 80% is unstructured and 20% is somehow structured. And in general, we all know data will grow exponentially. There are estimates that by 2025, there will be over 160 setabytes uh, of, of data, which is um, a huge, 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 huge amount. If you think about um, security systems out there, uh, what kind of data do we have in there? We have uh, video data, of course. We have access control data. We have LPR data. We might have IoT data. Uh, we might have the data about the users, the privileges, and everything in the system. And if you think about all these data groups, uh, most of them are actually quite structured, right? So access control, you have a name to it, attached to it, you have uh, the badge reads, you have the timestamp. Uh, LPR as well, you can, uh, you can search through the uh, license plates, you know when it happened, on which location it happened, so there's lots of information there. And IoT data, of course, as well, um, for example, HVAC or, or other things. So th that's all data that's quite useful, really, that you can use to correlate. However, over 95% of your data in your security system is video data. And video data is not very structured. If you think about it, all the information of video data that you have is, well, the timestamp, when was it recorded, and where was it recorded, and that's it. If you're, if you're very lucky, you might have bookmarks uh, or something else, but otherwise, you cannot really do much with this data. If you're searching for something, how do you search through this video? And this is exactly what Video Analytics does. It takes the video and it structures it so you can use it in the future to search through it, to correlate it, to combine it with all these other kinds of data you have in your system. And in the future, we will have much more data-centric security systems that are not so, so much in silos as today that you have your VMS, you have your access control system, you have other things. It won't be in such silos, but it will be a data management system where you can apply data science on. But on this journey there, to get there, we need to make sure we have metadata in our video. We have metadata that we can use to treat it as the data that it is and not just unstructured data lying around. And this is what video analytics is about. So in the coming weeks, when we talk about different features of video analytics, um, like left luggage detection, weapons detection, fight detection, perimeter protection, all these kind of things. Think about it in a way, not that it's a trigger to trigger something, but it's really a way to structure your video that brings us to the next generation of security systems out there. That was it, that was the first video. I'm happy you were here. Please do not forget to subscribe here below because this is super important. I will keep these videos as short as possible so they are easy to consume. Great that you have been here today and see you next time.